Good morning from Thailand, from beautiful PP Pee Pee Village, the Little Star Resort. Just a little pool here, but nice for a morning dip, some stretches. So, my plan today is to show you some of the beautiful beaches here. It really is some amazing beaches. So, it's a bit of distance in between each of them, but Put that out and get to the juicy bits and show you how nice the beaches are for anyone who might be interested in traveling here you know so yeah that's the plan for today let's do this okay so let's go morning mate how are you good yeah, good yeah. good just up shower just wake up yeah yeah, I'm yeah. just going for a walk yeah see the beach Ah, to the beach. Yeah. Okay. Well, enjoy. Okay, enjoy. Cool. Bye bye. Hi. Hello. Hello. Yeah. So, just coming out of Little Star Resort. We'll go to the main beach in PP Pee Pee Village, which is that's PP Pee Pee Village Resort there. We'll go and check that beach out. Basically, PP Pee Pee Village Resort dominates the whole beach there. So. But you can still go and use it so let's go check it out i'm um, okay thank you boss so it's just like 10 minute walk around here and you're on the main beach 10 minute walk from little star resort where i'm staying now i'll put some prices up so it's a bit more informative but obviously you get what you pay for if I was coming for holiday proper holiday I would probably stay here but PP village but my girlfriend works there so we've never been allowed to stay there I've stayed Villa 360 I've stayed quite a few other places so I'll put some prices up and it'll be a bit more informative so let's just have a look Beautiful beach here. And the tide's in. Sometimes the tide is far out when it's not so good for swimming, but when the tide's in, it's the best. As you can see, beautiful sea, clean. Uh, there's not much comparison in the resorts actually, you know, it's just, just a different level. I stayed in this Villa 360 up here before. It's very nice, but it's also expensive and it's also very difficult to get to. Especially if you go to the village for a drink in the evening and try to get back on your own, but we won't we won't tell you that story. <laughs> Maybell knows that story very well. So but this is PP Village Resort. Goes right back there. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to go in. You're allowed to use the beach, I know that. It's different. Uh, bungalow style I'll let you know the prices I'm sure it's anything from 10,000 baht a night up to 20,000 but very nice I'll just take a little dip right while I'm here go for a swim Okay, so I just Googled it to make sure this camera is waterproof. You know, I know it is, but I bought it yesterday and usually you have to have a case. It's a GoPro Hero 8, but apparently you don't have to have a case anymore. Shit, I forgot about my glasses. Also, I checked about my watch as well. I've never been in the water with this. I don't want to keep taking it off. But both waterproof, so we're good, we're good to go. 
tight out. people here. The restaurants are open, the shops are open. The only thing closed are the gyms which seem crazy. So I just walked through the village. Can't really video there because so many places playing music. Basically five minutes to walk through there. It took five minutes to walk through. Drop the water. Yeah, I'll get for you. Takes about five minutes to walk through there. A few bars, restaurants, but very nice food. But most Thank places, no, no problem, no problem. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. people here I've been in the bar sometimes till 12 at night I think one time like 3 in the morning <laughs> but yeah usually everywhere closes early just the beach, uh, bridge going over to the Holiday Inn Resort Beach that's where we're going now Holiday Inn Resort Beach which I'm going to walk we can get a motorbike taxi over here and it's a fair old walk. I'll let you know how far exactly soon. I've got my watch set. Let's see. I'll let you know when I get there. So it may be a quarter of the way to the Holiday Inn Resort. But I just wanted to show the view from here. It's a beautiful view. I was going to go in here, but it's being fixed at the moment. But I can still show you. Hello, boss. Yeah, they're fixing it. Usually, when I was here before, it was decking. You can go sit in there, take in the scenery. But not today. Billy you back that way. I just came that way. Well, they in it's this way. Let's go. So, still going. Just thought I'd show you this part. This is called Pou Chalet, which is another luxury resort. But I stayed there before. Um, I've noticed now online the prices have come really down a lot. This is your view. So the bungalows on the on the cliff side, amazing view. And it's reasonably priced now. I think for yeah. I booked my place for four nights was 140. This place was 240. Which not bad before it would have been around 500 for four nights 
So yeah, cheaper option. And you'll still be impressing the missus. Little Richie tip. <laughs> okay, so this is the beginning of Holiday Inn Resort. And there, beach. It's not only Holiday Inn Resort. There's, mm, I'm not sure, three or four others. But Holiday Inn is like the main one. And so far, it took me 27 minutes. That's from the village to here. And I'll be on their beach in exactly about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more steps from here. Another amazing beach. I've never actually stayed in this Holiday Inn Resort, but I did say next time I would stay in here, but due to circumstances, I'll have to wait for now, but definitely one day I'll be staying in one of these beach huts. You can get up and just come straight down in the morning for a swim. It's really big, it goes right up to the top there. There's a sunset bar. Oh yeah, it's just a very nice resort. Well, I think it is. <laughs> Never stayed in it. Looks like it to me. So, time for the next swim. Let's have a little paddle here. Both nice people. I'll let you be the judge. Yeah, mate. Oh. oh, that's nice. Freshen up. Oh. here, Tonside Pier, and they bring you around here on another boat, a smaller boat, long boat, and the boat stops just out at sea there, and then a tractor drives out to pick you up, bring you back in with your suitcases, so it might just be a little tip to remember, because I've seen people come in here arriving with huge suitcases, <laughs> can be a bit tricky can get a bit you know it depends how long you're coming for I suppose I think five five days to a week is enough depends how much cash you've got if you're rich come for a month sod it chill the hell out 